That's similar to what the uh, airlines would do too if they lost pressurization. Uh, one of the other reasons we keep that bank in there, and, and one of the things you'll see in the PTS is, uh, one of the requirements is keep a positive G loading on the airplane. Because it's real easy when you're entering it to push it over and you go negative Gs. So you want to nice and smooth push it over and that bank helps you keep a more positive G loading as well. Because as you know, as we get, like for example, when we're doing steep turns, you can really feel yourself pressed down in the seat. Yes. Yeah. So same thing, as you increase your bank angle, you increase the positive Gs on the airplane. Alright, so I didn't see anyone. I've been looking the whole time we were circling. Whenever you're ready, you can pull the power all the way to idle. Okay. And put us in that 30 to 45 degree bank. Passing on south to south on an alpha, then taxi via. Nice and easy. And you never want to feel that sensation where your stomach comes out because that means you're going negative. That's plenty of bank right there. And just keep that side picture and get it trimmed out and see where your airspeed stabilizes. And then if you need to make a change with your side picture, then do it. Maybe a little bit more nose down because we're at 130 right now. Not bad for your first time, no. Actually pretty good. The key is just to be nice and smooth. And don't push it over abruptly. Any questions on that? No, that, it was easy and, uh, and I'll admit it was kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs>